Hey everyone, Flannel here, and today I'm going to be doing how to win episode number three, and uh, let's get right into it. So, uh, basically in this series I go over some gameplay I played, obviously, and I uh, analyze it for mistakes, or just I pause it at certain intervals to see like where I made a good play and to explain it a little bit. So, uh, for, th for this game I try to highlight some season 7 tips, like how to use an airplane and uh, what you can do on a zipline, and a few other things. So, hope you learn a thing or two, and use these tips in your gameplay. So initially, I, I, I intended in this game not to play that smart, I want to just play really aggressive with planes. Because I find them really, really crazy overpowered, and I just want to highlight what you can actually do with them. So, uh, if you see me making some irrational plays, that's probably why. So I start off with a slurp and an assault rifle and an SMG, so I'm thinking at this point that I'm golden, you know, just use a plane. Oh, actually, yeah, let me let me explain what you can do in these. So, basically, what, what my tactic is, I just go up to people, I, I see someone, I start shooting, I get close enough to ram them, I ram, and if uh, the situation is right, I jump out to attack. So this victim right here, I actually miss all my shots, but I ram him, and that's really annoying. And if you use the rolling buttons that uh, the game provides, you turn really fast, so you could come around for another one before they're ready for it. And this poor dude's probably just freaking out from what I'm doing to him. So I break all that, but I get sidetracked by a person over here. And uh, because of the rock, I unfortunately miss the hit. And I get into a little fight that I was hoping would end quicker. But, um, my potato aim, you know, says differently. Alright, so basically I grab the plane even though it's about to blow up, and I, uh, go for another attack on people. So I break everything and jump out, and I just go for a crazy aggressive push. Now before I finish that kill, I just want to go over exactly what I did there, if you want to just know why I made the decisions I did. So basically, she jumps down, I go to basically land all my shots, I hit a good amount, and I replace this wall with my own to try to go for an edit kill. So I see that I missed my opportunity, and she's about to make her turn around the corner. So I place a wall there blocking her off, and uh, basically she gets scared and runs out. So at that point she uses a balloon, and I just catch up to her and spray her down. And done. Easy kill. So lo and behold, my if you look over there, my plane has survived all of that because for some reason they don't take damage from crashing into things, which is really weird. I, I think they should take more damage than they do. And they actually, in this gameplay, they're not nerfed. I think when they explode, you take damage now as a pilot. I'm not sure though. So basically, I'm using it with no health right now. That might not be viable anymore. So I see another group try the same tactic. I laser him with the gun, but I missed the slam. So I go back around and I decide I'm just gonna jump out and go for the fight. I'm gonna let this play out. All right, so as you can see, I got myself in a little pickle over there. I'm gonna rewind back to when I noticed. So basically, right there, I noticed I didn't have any mats. So I go, okay, I have no mats, and this guy's under me. So I go to jump over and take a quick flick shot at him, and sadly miss the shot. And then he hits me for all my health. So at this point, I know I have no mats, and my only chance of survival is to really just be aggressive and try to land the shot before he does. Because if I don't do anything, he's just going to turn the corner and kill me anyway. So I jump out, and I, I win the fight. It, it really just came down to luck at that point, and if I could hit the shot.
So at this point, I'm without a plane, kind of upset. I like pissing people off with them. But I heal up and I move towards the quad crashers that are by Divid. It's good to know where quad crashers are, especially if you know how to fly them, because they can get you anywhere around the map. If you don't know how to fly with quad crashers, I suggest you learn. And in fact, I might post a video on that soon, because it's, it's simple enough. Once you know when to boost in the air, it's, uh, it's pretty easy and really fun. So now that I got some wood, make my way toward those, towards those quad crashers I was trying to get to. And then I try to find another plane location. And plane locations are pretty much marked by those red hangar looking buildings. If it's a red building, there's probably a plane near it. So that's a good tip. So over here, I know I'm going to overshoot the planes, so what I do is I boost upwards and that actually will negate fall damage if you can complete the full boost before hitting the ground. And I go over here to demonstrate to you guys a few things you can do with the zipline. So when you get on a zipline, to avoid getting shot at, you can jump and on top of jumping if you turn around you'll actually change directions of your zipline so those are some pretty cool features that i wish i knew the second i got on season seven now i get in this plane and i head for tilted uh, to just seek out some kills dive on people and that actually doesn't end up working out no one's in tilted for a while so i want to take this time to put a post i saw on fortnite competitive on the screen here and basically what this post is showing, it's from two spells too, by the way. That's the user who posted this. And uh, basically what this post goes over is a few things you can do with the plane now that they're in the game competitively. So one, planes are ripped. You can trigger whenever you want. You can be at any altitude and wherever you want to go at any moment, you can jump out and fly there. It's great for that. Two, punishment for flying is getting shot down and getting to rotate to wherever you want because you have a glider. So even if you get shot down, you can go wherever you want. So that's not even that much of a disadvantage. And three, no materials wasted on rotation and fights because you don't have to use any material when you're fighting from a plane. It's pretty self-explanatory, but these are great. These are really great advantages that come with a plane. And finally four, you can choose whatever fight you want to take, even if it's a surprise attack. Like right here, I'm getting shot conveniently and I can choose to take this fight or come fly away. Doesn't really matter, there's not much risk when it comes to planes. And if I want to expose the enemy, I fly right through the building. <laughs> I would definitely say they need more of a nerf or a rework in some way, because as of right now, planes are way too useful. But I mean, hey, you might as well grab these wins while you can, because if you use a plane the correct way, like I'm gonna show in the end game too, you'll definitely score a few victory royales, I promise you. So I think I make one last hope, ho hopeful circle around Tilted, and then I realize no one's going to be here. So I start making my way over to Loot Lake for some action. Alright, so I get into my first dogfight, and the bullets uh, have some velocity to them, so you do need to aim in front of things if they're moving fast. But it's pretty easy to feel for it, like, where you should shoot. And as you can see, I I'm getting good angles on him by using the roll mechanics. When I roll left and right, I turn 180 degrees much faster than he does. So I was able to wrap around and start shooting at him much faster than he was able to do it to me, because he wasn't using those functions. But I end up losing him because he's a tiny target, and I have a big plane, so, you know, I'm upset.
so uh, again, I'm just looking, looking for fights. There's nothing really crazy I'm doing right now. I'm just searching, and I find it. So I find this fight, and I, I don't want to dive bomb right in because I'll probably hit the ground. So I, I get a little further away, and then I roll to get a straight angle on him. So I start trying to shoot, I miss, and then I break everything to get a good shot on him. And I'm gonna let this play out. So I think this is a great example of some uh, fast gameplay. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. Alright, so basically I broke this wall right here and exposed everywhere he could be hiding. So I tried to hit him, but I still gave myself an advantage either way. And then once I saw him, I built over him and I saw that he started running and he wasn't expecting me to go over him because he was running away. So that's why I go to edit in quick and fire off a shot. So I try to break this stair just for the sake of having clear visibility. And I end up getting the, a high ground shot on him uh, that he really couldn't retaliate against. And then the same thing, I saw that he started running away again, and that's, you gotta execute on those um, opportunities where you know that the enemy isn't really fighting back, they're trying to escape. So, at that point I was able to get three shots off on him before he was able to retaliate. So, sorry about that man. Uh, he actually commented on my, one of my videos right after this happened, so, shout out to you man, sorry that happened. <laughs> So at that point, I went from no shield and 75 health to, uh, I'm doing pretty good now. Six minis on me. Sadly, though, I lost my plane. So I will definitely be on the hunt for another. Oh, yeah. I switched from my 50 shield a little too fast, and it didn't register my, my drink. So there's a plane around me, I'm just trying to like, kind of stay away from it because planes, as you've seen, are pretty damn annoying. And it's pretty hard to pinpoint the location with how bad the sound is in this game, so... Yeah, definitely don't want to hear that sound to be out in the open where I am. So my game plan right now is literally to just look for an enemy and try to get their loot. I I'm be I'm being aggressive this game, as I was I was saying, Ugh. as I was saying, and uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing anyone, so I'm just taking this opportunity to get some rocks and stuff like that. So, now that I saw those quad crashers, I have my eyes on the prize again, and I'm just going to try to fly to a better location. Because right where I am, nothing's really going on, and I feel just kind of awkward. Being out in the open is... is uh, it's just difficult to work with, because you know you're not doing the best that you can be doing. So, quad crashers are basically a way to rotate anywhere, so love seeing those. I always like to build two ramps before I quad crash or fly because it's the easiest way for me to take off. And you're going to see I do the thing to negate fall damage again right before I land. See? So I find another plane. Very happy about that. Wait. 
Yeah, sometimes when you get on the plane, they'll actually give you fall damage for, well not smack damage for flipping it. It's a little bug. And this is where I could highlight the, the end game of planes. So if you're just going for a win, just stick in a plane and fly up to the highest altitude you can. You're going to get to a point where your propellers stop working, but stay right below there, and many people won't shoot at you, and you can just wait it out until one of the last uh, last people. And then, obviously, you can just dive bomb on the last person and win easily. So sadly, though, there's two other planes that have the same idea as me, and I get caught up in a pretty big dogfight. So I'm using roll mechanics to try to dodge, and it works a little bit, but you know, with, with two planes on you, you're, you're gonna take hits. But always make sure to roll, because it's the best way to move faster than they expect. So I go on the offensive here, and honestly, I think it's pretty easy to use the cursor. So, all you need to do is lead a little bit with planes, and here's a highlight of the rotations you can do. Now that I broke, the only disadvantage I got was the fact that I have to fly somewhere now. And I think they actually, I, I take that back, because I think they just patched that in the, in the last patch where you take a little bit of damage. So make sure to jump out before it explodes. So I saw he jumped out, I went to take some shots off at him and hopefully kill him before he lands. That didn't happen. I almost got it. But at this point I want to just get my way right over to him because I want to end him. So I jump pad. So, I mean, that, that was pretty self-explanatory. He just didn't really know what hit him. I, I built, he didn't build, he didn't really know what to do. So, it's important against those people to always go, go from a high ground shot because you don't want them getting just a stupid hit on you. At the end there, he saw me for like a millisecond before he got headshotted. So, that's a good way to keep yourself protected instead of making a silly mistake against someone who shouldn't be killing you. I use that launch pad to rotate to the middle of the circle because that's the optimal positioning right now to win the game. Because now I have high ground and I'm right in the middle. So I use my metal to get a good little base going. Yeah, there was a little lag spike right there, so I actually ended up just falling out, but, you know, it's no biggie. So, in, in these situations, it's best to just keep yourself protected, only take shots that, uh, don't, that aren't that risky, and try to survive. Stay calm. So, I'll play that back a little bit. So, this guy made a bad mistake. He, uh, he challenged me, essentially. Hold on. Brother. So, at this moment, after I shot at him, he just challenged me to, uh, he wanted me to peek my head and just kill me. Now, that does work, but, uh, if you actually press spacebar, shoot, and then crouch again, you only peek for, like, a millisecond. So, if you can get a quick scope off, they're kind of just going to be done. Like, right here, I got the shot up before he did and ended him. So this guy tries launch padding near me. It's best to keep these guys really pressured. Yeah, like, I, once you keep a constant pressure on people who are trying to push you, uh, especially with the... Uh... Okay, yeah. I kind of got interrupted, but that, that wasn't really that important. I said what I needed to say already. But for th for this kill...
right here. So basically, I heard another person, and I want to get high ground on him because I don't really know the angle I have on him yet. So now that I see, I take a shot running off just for an instant shot before he can do anything. Now he hits me through that a little bit, but I stay calm, and as he breaks it, I just shoot again, and he's dead. But the whole time, I'm constantly keeping myself protected, so that's something you gotta start incorporating into some plays you make. So at this point, there's only two people left, so I'm kind of just, like, looking out for them. And I see this person right here. And now, a good thing you can do here is, now that I have a deagle and a sniper, so this is the perfect storm for, basically, that. So I'm gonna, before I finish that kill, I'm just gonna play that back a little bit. So, basically, you shoot a deagle, and then you just immediately shoot your sniper. And basically, it just exposes them before they can replace the wall. And, uh, easy kill. So this person is just trying to overwhelm me with, uh, spraying. So I, I take this opportunity to just launch pad over to him at a different position. Oh, wow, that didn't happen yet. I forgot about that. I actually sniped him first. Now, I use the tree as cover so he can't shoot me while I'm doing this. And I just ramp over and get the kill. Now, I want to go over that a little bit because it may seem like just an easy kill, but it it's really, when you think about it, from right here... I could have just kept uh, fighting him from right here, and that could have ended up with him spraying me a lot more. But instead, I decided to just change my positioning a little bit to confuse him, and I end up just being able to get a quick double ramp rush right in front of his face for an easy shot off. So that's a good way to make fights easier for yourself instead of getting into harder situations. Make sure to position yourself in the strongest way. So, um, yeah. That's all I have to say for this video, so I hope you learned a thing or two about planes, ziplines, or anything else in my gameplay, and uh, see you guys next video.